After renovating the floating cabin that we currently live on, when we came across an opportunity to purchase another dilapidated houseboat, but this time with a little more square footage to work with and an even better view, we just couldn't pass it up. Throw in the potential to Airbnb our current home, allowing others to experience this awesome lifestyle that we love so much while also earning some passive income, we were sold. And here we are, just a couple months later, coming down the home stretch of our new build. This week, we found ourselves painting and staining everything in sight, transforming this bland, primer-coated exterior into the modern and bright vision we'd held all along. Throwing some paint on the walls felt like it would be a walk in the park after some of the harder work we'd done up to this point, but Mother Nature had other plans. So here's what we've got going on this morning. I am gonna start caulking everything on the outside and Miss Thelma is going to start painting our front doors and Brandon is already hard at it staining the soffit. So today kind of starts our exterior. No sooner had we begun caulking, painting, and staining than the wind had decided to start blowing several dozen miles per hour. We were so concerned about making sure Brandon was safe way up on an 8 foot ladder on a moving platform with 30 plus mile per hour wind gusts. We did it safely. He's alive. That we forgot to consider some of the objects that were sitting around in the dock in danger of blowing off. The 6 foot ladder was the first thing to go. It was sitting right there and it literally just blew it straight into the lake. And no sooner had I finished shaking the video to tell you guys about the ladder when... My GoPro just went in the lake. cost of it replacing it but that had like that had all of our footage on it all of the time lapses of building the vanity and the sink and painting the cabinets caulking the outside staining the soffit staining the egress building the ladder painting the ladder staining the ladder building the bed and that had like everything that we accomplished this week on it. I just have little clips on my phone that I'm, I guess, is the only thing that you guys are going to see this week. It kind of really seems like a silly thing to get upset about, but I really do care about making these best videos possible. Now I can't. I'm sorry. I'll try and replace it soon, but that's going to make things a lot tougher. You can imagine taking about $500 bills and some of your favorite family photos and just shredding them up in a blender. That's pretty much how it felt. But at least I can always count on Brandon to take a somber situation and throw a little bit of lightheartedness into it. So we lost our GoPro at the lake and had all the footage from all the wonderful, exciting things that we did this week. But we're just going to walk you through what we did. I forget where we started and stopped, but we'll work on that too. In addition to the soffit being stained and that top trim being painted dark, we've got the first story of the house, first coat, white. That really pops. That's going to look awesome. That's it's amazing. real soft. And it's beautiful. So our resident interior decorator, Miss Thelma, told us that if we do the baseboard trim black which we were all of our trim out here is going to be black that's what we were planning to do 
that kind of makes the house look a little shorter whereas if we do this white it'll elongate the house and I can totally already see that effect honestly I probably wouldn't have known any better and I would have painted every single trim board black <laughs> and I can imagine how choppy that would look so I'm glad that we had Elma here to advise also got the whole house caulked <laughs> and I can't tell you how silly it would have been to watch me doing it back here on the back of the house on this moving boat in this crazy wind painting that is gonna be interesting oh my gosh what are you I don't want to stain no more are you there I'm over it. You no, can't I am say not that. there. You can't say that till it's finished. No, I'm done now. <laughs> this is how you get neck injuries when you can wear a damn rag out like that from staining all day. That's oh. what that looks like, huh? Yeah. That's done. No, all the staining ain't done when this is done. There's that, that a whole is, deck. It's nothing compared to all this up and down. You hear that, baby? This is just nothing. It ain't really good. It ain't about. nothing to stain the whole deck. At least it's not overhead, that stuff just sucks. So, you know, the first person to finish their projects for the day has to go get drinks for everybody else. Ah. Oh, sold. That'd be an easy job after what you do. Sold. Cheers, you guys. Hopefully tomorrow will be a little better and a little less windy than today. Hopefully when I do some research tonight, I'll find that maybe there's like some kind of warranty option or something <laughs> for the GoPro where maybe I don't have to just outright replace it. We'll see. <laughs> that was a good bit. <laughs> Last thing we lost today apparently we definitely have our system figured out better over here because we've spent so much time here and everything's tied down and whatnot and that includes my paddle but look at this how does that happen the adjustable side of it how does that fly out of a paddle that's tied down that's just cruel update on the GoPro Stitch. I pay for this like insurance basically, this subscription every year to GoPro where they advertise this camera replacement, no questions asked, guaranteed type deal. So I called last night and as it turns out there are a lot of questions asked and I don't qualify for the replacement. To me, I mean when you say no questions asked, that feels very safe and secure, like whatever happens, I'm covered and For those of you who might have been wondering, the water underneath our house is at least 70 feet deep and rising every day. My last hope for recovering this camera is just to wait until next January when the water is all the way down and hopefully it's shallow enough to where I can see it and get it back. Iko has like not been eating at our current house. She's been like waiting until she gets here. We just have to bring her bowl because she won't eat before we leave. And then when she gets here, she immediately starts eating, which I think is so cute. I feel like she's decided this is home now. We have just gotten paint splatters everywhere because every time you take the roller brush out, it just, oh hey dear. It just 
blows in the wind and splatters. Some of you guys have probably been wondering up to this point, like why don't they just wait for a day that's not, like why do they have to be working in these conditions? Because Thelma's here and she's only here for like one more day. She's such a valuable asset as far as not only just having another set of hands in general, but also like she's such a good and quick and efficient painter. That makes a huge difference in the timeline of how quickly we're able to get this house finished. Speaking of not ideal weather, that's no good, huh? No, everything we did today would be in vain. Oh, come on, hopefully not. That was not in the forecast. Just blow on it, will you? Now I want the wind to blow. <laughs> yeah, blow on, blow on, blow on, blow on, blow on. Brandon had to head off to work for the afternoon, but that didn't stop Thelma from spending a few more hours on her final day with us, finishing out the window trim. I took to the dock with a sander to help fix all the paint splatters that the wind had caused us this week. This area is particularly bad. Transition. Big thanks to our friend Bill for lending us a sander to get all those paint splatters off. Painter in the world. I don't know about the best. Who can take? But I tried hard. It's amazing. It was wonderful. Thank you for all your help. I loved every minute of it. We screamed, we cussed, we yeah. hugged. And we made up at the end. For this product. <laughs> oh. Despite some of the challenges this week held, seeing the exterior finally be transformed was an absolute treat. Again, I gotta apologize for not being able to show you guys more of the process this week and losing a lot of footage, but what can you do? Next week, we'll be sharing how we connect our house to an underwater city water line, as well as the installation of our solar panels, our tub, and more. We'll see y'all then.